Century City. I've been invited to a private screening of the upcoming movie Hotel Transylvania 3. I haven't seen Transylvania 1 or 2, and I think that could be a good thing. I'm kind of looking at it, looking at it unbiasedly. Some I mean, of you guys have kids or may have grandkids, and I'm going to let you know whether this is a good movie to go to. Currently still in the Mazda 3. Uh, this car is really warming up on me. Mazda in general. Uh, the, the design uh, was a bit challenged for me a few years ago, and now Mazda has really come into their own. Their, their quality and everything else has started to improve. I'm going to give you guys some details on this car towards the end of the vlog. But right now, just sitting in the car, the ergonomics are great. It's really comfortable. And it's pretty quick. Of course, if I got my hands on one of these for real, it'd be super quick. Century City is about a half an hour away, so I'm going to enjoy the drive down the coast into Santa Monica. Everybody's going to be coming to the beach because yesterday it was about 120 degrees in the valley. And that's not fun. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to enjoy the AC in this car and in the theater. And when I get back, I'm probably going to go to the beach. parked a little too close to the wall. Hotel Transylvania 3, not something I expected to like uh, on, on any any level. There was uh, quite a few people here at this uh, at this private screening and they brought a lot of their kids. So it was, uh, when when the, the movie started, I expected not really to like it in that it was the third one in a series and I haven't seen the first two. But to my surprise, I, actually liked it. It was actually kind of fun. I mean, it was had some really stupid things, some really silly things, but it's a kid's movie. But it also had a couple of very inventive things, things that uh, were kind of unexpected. I, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of surprised. And if you got kids, I, I'd say go see it. And th that's pretty much I, all I have to say about that. You know, it was cool. You know, check it out.
Mazda for a second, the Mazda 3 with Skyactiv technology. With all the Mazdas I've gotten over the years, I still have never investigated what Skyactiv actually really means. It's a cool word. It doesn't necessarily mean anything to me, but it's it's probably, you know, has to do with something. This Mazda 3, 2018, 30 miles per gallon, 6, 35, somewhere around there. I had the car for a week. Uh, it sipped. It didn't, uh, didn't do bad at all. It sent me the most nondescript version. Anytime I get a car where it's uh, charcoal gray or it's silver or it's gray, something like that, uh, it's a bit of a challenge. You want to see what the potential of that car can be. 2.5 liter dual overhead cam, four cylinder, 184 horsepower, 185 foot pounds with G vector control. <laughs> and all that pops a squat at $29,000, so just under 30 grand. Now, the thing about Mazda that I that I like, you know, I had some friends that worked at Mazda uh, Design and, and some interesting things, and Mazda has really evolved. Uh, and they've evolved to the point where I, I really didn't give them too much notice, uh, um, except for the, the the MX-5, you know, the, the little Roadster when it first came out. That was kind of a fun car, and I would, you know, take that into the parking lot and do donuts and things like that. That was always kind of fun. Then Mazda kind of, in my mind, went away for a period of time. Uh, and then recently, just in the past couple of years, they're starting to evolve back. Their concept cars are starting to look really fantastic. Their design language has shifted, uh, and they're really doing some really neat things. I like the language now. I like the way uh, things are going. This Mazda 3, uh, the proportions are interesting. The wheels are pushed out. Uh, the front has a nice kind of scalped front to it. It looks good. It feels good. Uh, it it kind of like it's one of those things that fits nice in the hand. Well, it fits nice like a like a perfect suit. And as cool as it is, which it's very cool, it's very cool. As cool as it is, it's not the car that just pulled up. But I, I can't show you right now because I'm wrapping up the vlog. This next car, which I mentioned on yesterday's vlog, it's loud, kind of like that helicopter going by, and it's coming to wheels and waves. And speaking of wheels and waves, see how I just kind of segue then? It works pretty well, right? A celebrity guest for wheels and waves this month is none other than Rob Paulson, an incredible voice actor. If you have ever watched any cartoons in the last 30 years, chances are you've heard Rob's voice. He's phenomenal. He's an amazing guy, a uh, big car enthusiast. He's going to beat the show. He's going to be bringing his Mercedes and AMG that he bought, you know, recently at uh, um, uh, Mercedes Benz of Thousand Oaks. We're going to be doing some fun stuff with Rob, uh, not only with this event, but we have another event coming up with Cafe Lux in August. I'll be telling you guys about that. And then if you saw our vlog 800 with Tony Dow, we're going to be doing something like that with Rob also. All right, guys, that's it for watching. We're going to have a great time at Wheels and Waves on Sunday, but I have a big announcement right after that. The following Monday, huge, enormous, ginormous, gigantosaurus. It's big. It's really big. All right, see you later.